Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a 3D Print Geek and if you're into 3D printing, photography and drawing, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. Filament review today, we're talking about the Azure Film uh, uh, Wood PLA, the bamboo uh, type. It's a wood PLA that prints very, very nicely and I actually didn't have any issue with it. Before getting into the review, I would like to thank a really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He runs an Instagram page, it's called 3D Print All. All the links will be in the description. He talks about application of electronics to 3D printing. He shows us what's new from the world of 3D printing. And it's a great place to go and get inspiration from and ideas on what to print. All the links will be down in the description. Go pay Giuseppe a visit, he deserves it. So as probably most of you already know, Azure Film is a company based in Slovenia, in Cezana, very close to the Italian border. So totally European filament. Uh, it's a great uh, relation, quality price, very, very nice and well-made filaments. And uh, this wood filament surprised me a lot. I had already tried a wood filament from Azure Film. It was not the bamboo, it was the pine wood, I think. And uh, when they sent me a sample, I didn't have enough to test it out properly and to print out huge stuff. That's what I did uh, this time. I printed out some vases, I printed out some miniatures, and uh, I didn't print the usual calicat, if you're wondering. I printed out something even better. Before talking about some prints, I wanna tell you that when printing with wood, it's really important that you put a little larger nozzle. I put a 0.6 nozzle in my artillery side dwinder. Here's a video up here somewhere if you wanna see how I did that. And uh, I did that for two main reasons. I switched from brass to stainless steel because wood filament, considering it has 40% of wood inside, it's a lot abrasive and it can like really destroy your nozzle in a matter of time, especially if it's not a nozzle or, or a, a custom nozzle from your printer. So my suggestion is use stainless steel. Uh, I use the Triangle Labs, bought them on AliExpress. If I remember, I'll link them down for you. Uh, they're really, really good and cheap. They take a little time to get here, but when they get here, they're really, really good. So change nozzle, minimum 0.6, if you wanna have good results and don't have any extra issues. So the first two benches I tried, I didn't get temperature correctly. This is like, the first one is like really disgusting, like lots of stringing inside. As you can see, temperature was at 220. And then I found the sweet spot at 210, uh, bed at 70 degrees, and uh, fan all the way on, and raft. Don't forget to put raft on, guys. Underneath here, if you have a small surface laying on the bed, put raft on. You will never have any problems printing wood if you put a little bit of raft. I love printing in vase mode. This time with a, with a 0.6 nozzle, I could print out vase mode at 1.2. I love doubling the size of the width extrusion, especially when I have a larger nozzle. It gives you incredible vases and they're really, really sturdy, even though it's spiralized mode and vase mode. It's like it took two hours and a half to create this beautiful vase. This is a great model. You can personalize it with filament inside, inside here and make it beautiful. And this bamboo wood, apart from the fact it smells Amazingly, it smells like roasted uh, uh, wood. It's, it smells like you're entering a house where there's a chimney or there was a chimney on uh, recently. So very, very nice uh, PLA, very, very nice layer adhesion. Even though I was printing with 0 0.6, so this is 0 0.6 with 1.2 with extrusion. It's uh, the results are amazing. Layers really, really uh, melt with each other and the results are good, are really, really good considering this is 40% wood. Then I printed out this uh, bowl, vase mode, 
This I printed out in vase mode with 0.8 extrusion as I, as I norm normally do because all this texture here already makes it stronger so there was no need for me to add uh, extra width. This was already really good, it's really nice and sturdy. I can put clips in, I can put some stuff in. I laid down the benches before just to remember they were there. The last vase I, I printed out was a bit of a challenge. I didn't know if this could have been printed in vase mode. It was an attempt. I slowed down speed from 50, which I usually use in uh, printing wood. I slowed down to 35 and this, guys, surprised me a lot when I saw it finished on the printer. This is entirely printed in vase mode. All the links to these vases and uh, and stuff I'm printing will be down in the description for your reference if you want to print them and test them out. This bamboo PLA prints even better than the other one I had tested. I had more time to test this one. I had more PLA, even though it's nearly finished, as you can see up there. And uh, I liked it a lot. I really liked it a lot. Last two things I've printed made me really, really happy when I saw the result. I was searching for a model. I saw this bunny on Instagram. I didn't know how to find it. It was a grumpy bunny with a pair of glasses. I finally found it on Thingiverse and I printed it out. I also printed glasses for him, colored glasses. But this is a bunny. And he has glasses as well. I know Easter is already gone uh, a while, but I mean, I really liked it. I don't associate this to Easter. I just loved it because it's a grumpy bunny and uh, I showed my kids and they loved it. It's it's really fun and it's a, it's a supportless model. So that was, how, that was what I always search for because I want to see how filament performs and how filament reacts in between. Uh, there was not a lot of stringing here. I played with retraction. I doubled, uh, I doubled the usual uh, length of the retraction. I brought it from 2.5 to 5 millimeters with the uh, X1 and it worked really, really good. Layer adhesion also here is amazing. And uh, this is what I love about this filament. It's extremely easy. I mean, you, you're forgetting that you're printing wood. Now, some of you who already know me, uh, know that I love printing calicuts. I printed them, printed them out in every different color and material. I have like 20 or 30 around the house. I needed a container to put all my calicuts in and that's what I printed. This was a model, basically it was um, a pen uh, holder, but I resized it and now it holds all my all my calicats. It looks really really good, and it's it printed out really really nice. I had some uh, you know overhang problem here, considering it was considering it was uh, didn't have any support. Usually calicat go up by themselves of one millimeter. This one had like over a centimeter of overhang. So even though it printed out really, really good and the result is like really, really nice. I mean, it's going to stand there. It's going to keep all my calicats inside and uh, I love it. I mean, I already love it. So to conclude this video, this uh, bamboo wood PLA prints out really, really easily. Once you get all the settings dialed in correctly, you get the temperature right. I told you I found a sweet spot around 210, 208. Use a raft uh, to prevent any adhesion problem if you have a small surface. I didn't use any raft on uh, on the vase modes. I used raft on, uh, on the bunny and I used raft on the benches. So if the, the surface is small, use a raft. Apart that, it prints like a PLA. You forget about PLA. 
Don't forget to use a larger nozzle, stainless steel nozzle would help. If you have a brass uh, nozzle, no problem, just as long as it's at least 0.6. If you want to buy Azure Film filaments, all the links will be down in the description. Using the coupon Alessandro10 on your checkout, you will have an extra 10% discount. It's always useful. That was all for today, guys. Smash the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if it's something you're into. And I'll see you guys on the next video.